So we got a question from a viewer, and it goes something like this. I'm out on the lead. I'm running the process. I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do based on the process, the system that I've learned. But still, I get to the end, and there's zero urgency on the part of the homeowner. How do I create urgency? That's a fantastic question. But the problem with the way the question was asked is that it assumes that you can create urgency at the end. Right? You've gone through your presentation. You're down to the very end. Now, how do I create urgency? The problem is, at that point, it's too late. You have to start creating urgency early on in the sales process. How do we do that? Well, there's a number of ways. Obviously, in the course of the sales process, we should be going through a comfort survey. During the course of that comfort survey, we should be uncovering problems. Problems with hot and cold spots. Problem with uh, Susie's little allergies. Problems with efficiency. Problems with high utility bills. You have to uncover those problems, and then you have to kind of use those to create urgency. We call this process the pain pyramid. And the pain pyramid is just a little pyramid, and the bottom line is the first step of the problem, uh, the first step of the process, the base of the pyramid, is to identify the problem. The next step is to irritate the problem. And then the third step is to solve the problem. So let me give you kind of an example. Let's say, uh, for example, you're in your, your comfort survey, and you ask the homeowner any issues with allergies, uh, indoor air quality, that type of thing. And the guy says, yeah, my little daughter, uh, daughter Susie has allergies, okay? Now you identified the problem. Now you must irritate the problem. Oh, really, Susie has allergies. Tell me what her symptoms uh, are like. Oh, well, she gets you know, runny noses in the summertime or she's sneezing, whatever, in the summertime. Now I gotta continue to irritate that problem. I say, so, Mr. Homeowner, how does it feel when Susie's having these symptoms and you can't do anything about it? Oh, man, it feels helpless, right? Well, let me offer some solutions to you when I design your system that will help with those, uh, with those uh, symptoms, right? So now when I get to the end, an hour later, I can bring that back up. I'm going to recommend that we go with our highest efficiency indoor air quality package because you said Susie's allergies made you feel helpless. When we install this system for you, you're not going to feel helpless. You're going to feel like you solved the problem for your little girl, right? So now I just created some urgency. So what if it's 70 degrees outside? That's not going to fix her allergies. You have to find ways to identify problems, irritate the pain, and then offer solutions to the pain. Let's say, for example, Bobby's room is very, very cold in the winter because it's over the garage. It's a, it's a hot and a cold spot, right? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, any hot and cold spots? Yeah, Bobby's room is really cold in the winter. Oh, really? Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's so cold in there in the wintertime, he's got to sleep in a coat, right? He looks like he's an Eskimo or something. He's sleeping in a coat. Wow, how does that make you feel when he's so cold in his room? Wow, it feels terrible. I hate my kid, you know, not being comfortable. Well, when we get near the end and I design some options, we'll make sure to address that for you. Now, an hour later, I'm saying, hey, I'm going to recommend we do a variable speed with some additional duct work because you said that you felt really terrible about little Bobby and his bedroom situation. And when we install this system and design the, the solution, you're not going to feel terrible anymore, right? Uh, same thing with, he, with, with the money, with the energy overpayment. Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, how much are you spending on utilities? You know, 300 bucks a month? Well, what if, you know, what if we save you 100 bucks a month with a new system? I mean, over the course of a year, that's 1,200 bucks. Over the course of five years, you know, it's $6,000. Imagine taking $6,000, Mr. Homeowner, walking out in the front yard and ripping it up and throwing it up in the wind. How would that make you feel? Ah, I'd feel stupid, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, when we're designing your system, we'll design a system that's very efficient so you won't have to worry about wasting that money. You won't feel stupid anymore. At the end, Mr. and Mrs. Homeowner, I'm going to recommend this high efficiency system because you said you didn't want to feel stupid sending all that money to the utility company. When we install this system, you're going to be able to keep that money right there in your pocket, right there where it belongs. So there's three quick examples. You have to search for problems that people have with respect to efficiency, with respect to indoor air quality, with respect to airflow, all these different issues. You have to find the problems and the symptoms that are a result of those problems. Then you've got to find out how people feel about those problems. Right? That's going to irritate their emotional state a little bit. Then you offer solutions to those problems. Now, the question that was asked about no urgency, uh, I imagine the situation is that we're going in, we're running through the process, and we never really uh, uncovered any problems. We never irritated any, any pain. We never created any urgency. Well, of course, there's no urgency. It's 70 degrees outside. You have to create urgency where it doesn't exist. Listen, when it's 100 degrees outside, you don't have to worry about urgency, right? It's urgent. They want to get an air conditioner. When it's super cold outside, same thing. But that's six months of the year. The other six months of the year, we have to create the urgency. And we create the urgency by finding a problem, irritating that pain, and then offering a solution.